Hi everyone. So fall is in the air here in Ohio. I wonder how it is where you're at, but this morning we had our first frost. Uh, so things were a little bit crisp out there, but beautiful. Uh, in today's video, I'll be doing some fall related things. I thought I'd take you guys with me as I do this. I'll be working on some flower bed cleanup and then also our shop. I plan to clean the outside of and then I also want to give you a brief little tour of how beautiful it is here in our area. I've mentioned this before, how Holmes County, Ohio was once voted by National Geographic to be one of the most beautiful places to visit in the fall time. At the end of this video, I'll also be talking about an upcoming event that I plan to be at. I'm excited for it, uh, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's do some fall cleanup. My sister Marlene recently got this little steel trimmer and she's kindly letting me use it to see whether I like it or not. Um, depending on how well I like it, I might have to invest in one myself. Um, it is cordless, so it seems to be really handy to use. The silver lace vine did so well this year, it's extra thick. Um, it's almost like being in a little room or a garden room underneath here. It's so pretty. I'm gonna to try to keep my geraniums over winter. I've never done this before. Pretty sure some of you could probably give me tips on how to do this, or, you know, what works best. But I know there's several different methods. Uh, one of them being, you know, storing them in brown paper bags. Um, I think you basically just dig them out or pull them out, you know, shake the dirt off, stick them in bags and store them in a cool, dry place. I'm gonna try that because honestly, it's the easiest and I don't have to take care of them this winter. And I think supposedly come springtime, you just plant them and the magic begins, so I guess we'll find out.
Mom had some extra white and yellow tulip bulbs that she gave me and I plan to put them here into the raised bed. And gotta say, I'm usually not in the mood to plant bulbs this time of the year. It's kind of like I'm out of that, you know, gardening mindset. But come springtime, when those first blooms start emerging, I vow like every year I'm going to plant bulbs, even if I'm not in the mood. It just brings so much cheer into one's life, you know, that time of the year after the cold, hard winter, I guess. I have sort of a love-hate relationship with the cat mint that is growing along the steps. Uh, in the springtime, it's really pretty, nice and fresh, and even during the summer, it usually doesn't look too bad. But this time of the year, it's just ugly, if you ask me. It just does not look nice, and it's a place where we walk past, you know, all the time. It's along our driveway, you know, going towards the house. And I'm going to remove it. I'm just tired of seeing it. And there is a ground cover in here. Um, I think it's called Blue Star. I'm sure there's another name for it too, but it's really aggressive. And for now, I'm just planning on letting that kind of take over. I think with the narrow bed, especially on the right side of the steps, it'll look best to just have a low ground cover. Now it's time to clean this shop front. Um, I really wish I had my soap that is intended for siding. I forget what it's called. I think maybe a spray and wash or a, basically you just spray it on, let it set for a bit and then rinse it off and the magic happens like everything is nice and clean. I had used it on our porch one year and we had also used it at the cottages. And I looked everywhere for it, could not find any, so I imagine it's probably all gone. And I'm kind of on a time limit here. Um, it's supposed to rain soon, so I'm just going to use what I have. I'm not going to bother, you know, going to the hardware to get any. So really, I'm just using Mrs. Meyer's soap. Um, it's probably not quite strong enough for an outside, you know, siding like this, but um, it'll have to do for now. I ended up soaking some of the sections with this car cleaner. I know it's probably not the proper thing to use, but it did seem to help um, just to kind of get things loose on here.
I still plan to wash the glass part of the windows, just didn't get it done for the video, but it does look a lot better. It's pretty amazing how you kind of get used to how things look dirty and all, and then when you clean it, you realize how dirty it actually was. Such a good feeling to have some of these things trimmed and ready for winter. I'm still not quite finished with all of the flower beds. I have the herb garden to do yet and a few places here and there, but for the most part, I feel like I'm kind of on top of things in that regard. This time of the year, of course, I have to bring all of my house plants inside. It's always kind of hard for me to do this because they love the outside. They actually do a lot better on the porch than indoors, but hopefully I can keep them happy during the winter months. Of course, I go over all of the plants, you know, picking out the dead leaves, and I often get asked, what about little bugs and creepy crawly things that are hiding in the plants? And honestly, I've rarely ever found any, but I imagine now would be the time that they'd make themselves known if there were any in here. I have a space here in the basement with a large window that I can keep some plants over winter. Now's a good time to do some repotting if any of the plants need a larger pot. In a previous video, I had showed you how I make these simple plant hangers, and I'll try to link that down below in the description box in case you wanna check it out, but here I have a few of those on hand that I had made for myself over the years. It's nice to be able to hang some of the plants up, that way I have enough room for them. So I'm gonna try something different that I've never really done before, and my mom often does this where she'll take starts of house plants and just stick them in potting soil where they take root and grow. And I really like the foliage of this one plant on the back deck. I'm going to clip these off and try that. Uh, it's the least I can do. If, it, if they don't survive, it's fine, but I'm going to give it a shot. Something's going on in this tree. I think every bird in the area is scolding. I should walk down and see what the fuss is all about in case Twinkle is an instigator. Here's Pebbles, so it's not her. I see chickadees, I hear wrens, there's red-bellied woodpecker, Downy's titmouse, Blue jays, of course. <laughs> They're always in the middle of everything. Kind of seems to be in this tree.
I'm just not seeing anything. Marlene and I were walking through the Walnut Creek Antique Mall the other day, just browsing, and I found this cute little plant stand is what I'm gonna use it for, but isn't it just adorable? Treating our little backyard with Sunday lawn care products was also on my list of things to do. And I have a fall treatment that they sent me. I've talked about Sunday products before, especially in the springtime, but I'm always so impressed with how our little lawn is looking back here. And the best thing about it is I can actually pronounce the ingredients that are in these products. I also like the idea that I was able to send in a soil sample and they actually make these products, like custom make them for our lawn, like whatever our lawn needs. Such a good feeling that the lawn is getting exactly what it needs and it's not being harmful to any little critters back here. Hope you guys enjoyed following along as I did some outside work. Gotta say, so glad that's done. I still wanna plant some toa bulbs, so that is still on my fall to-do list, but still have time to do it. I wanna briefly mention our fall candles. Whatever we have in stock right now is what's listed on the Etsy shop. We're gonna let them sell out. So if you're wanting some great smelling fall scents, make sure to head on over to the Etsy shop, check those out. Now for the announcement about the upcoming event. On November 18th, there is a holiday experience, is what it's called, 
at the Heritage Center. And for you locals, you know where I'm talking about. And I'll make sure to have the address down below in the description box. November 18th from 8 to 2. So mark your calendars if you're thinking this is something you'd want to check out. Lots of awesome vendors with beautiful products just in time for the Christmas season. And I'll make sure to share more details in upcoming videos. But I thought I'd put it out there in case you want to plan your November. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.